Hey everyone, this is Kit Cabello of Hard Lens Media. We are in West Chicago, Illinois, uh, covering the hunger protesters who are trying to protect DACA and TPS. Today I am joined here with... Uh, Father Jose Landaverde uh, from the Diocese of Quincy, Anglican Church in North America. Uh, Father Jose, essentially what has led up to this hunger uh, strike? It's been going on now for 10 days. What was the beginning point to, uh, for everyone to rally around to protect DACA and TPS? Well, because we were very, we are very concerned that the Secretary of State, ex-Secretary of State, Jan Kelly, President Donald Trump, and Jeff Session, uh, uh, they have a threat to cancel DACA, which will uh, jeopardize uh, 800,000 uh, dreamers who had been contributing to the country. Also, they have a cancel already the TPS and put in a process of removal uh, thousands and thousands of Hessians, and at the same time, they are threatening us with massive deportations. Like 25 minutes ago, President Donald Trump had a press conference saying what his immigration plan to reduce immigration is, and he was talking about to incrementing more enforcement to persecute our immigrant communities. And then we start this hunger strike because we will not tolerate uh, President Donald Trump administration racism and persecution to the immigrant communities. And uh, we're going to stand in hunger strike until we get a negotiation with our local uh, legislator, Peter Raskan, to meet with him and to tell him to not to repeal DACA, not to repeal the TPS, and to be part of the legislation proposed by uh, Senator Richard Durbin that will legalize um, uh, 800,000 800, dreamers, and also uh, Senate, uh, Congressman Peter Roskan to tell Donald Trump to please uh, stop immediately the deportations. This is why we are in this hunger strike. Those are demands. And uh, as being a leader of a community, what has been the general uh, feeling amongst the people uh, especially in, in your church, uh, about the, the possibility of DACA and TPS being repealed? Well, the people are very, very, very sad and scary. Uh, one of the examples is that the ladies that you interviewed there, that they are in hunger strike, and now we have uh, two dreamers that they were, they, they, they were not here when you came, but, but you can interview, they are part of the hunger strike and, and some TPS. The people are, are very concerned, the people are terrorized, and we and we need to bring back the people to uh, bring back the people and their, their trust that they're gonna be safe in our country All right and uh, where is Peter uh, Roskam's uh, s policy stand in regards to uh, DACA and TPS well Peter Roscoe has been one of the most conservative uh, congressmen in the state of Illinois this is this this is DuPage County the most conservative county in, in the state of Illinois, mm -hmm. and Peter Raskin has been in Thai immigrant all his life, and he uh, he has been one of the the legislators who has been supporting Donald Trump, uh, uh, General Kelly, and Jeff Session, and the Trump administration, and every policy against the immigrant communities. All right, and what would be your hope at the end of this? Uh, a protest. Well, I, I would hope will be that the uh, uh, Peter Raskin will never will will be part of this dialogue mm -hmm. because elections are coming, mm -hmm. and he needs to uh, dialogue with us, and he needs the migrant community. His district, six, uh, for example, West Chicago, 50 percent of the community who lives in West Chicago are Latinos mm -hmm. and are borders and migrants, mm -hmm. and also in his district, he has a lot of percentage of immigrants uh, who are already citizens that they bought and he has he has to he has to negotiate with us and one of my, my hope is that he is going to be agree in most of the points that we are uh, proposing to him all right and for our viewers and subscribers who are watching this and probably seeing it online where can they find out more about your organization is there a website social media that they could find you guys on well they can find us a uh, uh, Faith Life and Hope uh, Facebook mm -hmm. page. They can put just also justice for the DACA, justice for the migrants, and they will find us up there. Or just go into Jose Eslandaver, the Facebook, and they, they will find us. And also 
Uh, we are here in West Chicago, 900 East Roosevelt Road, West Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. And they can call us also 773-538-7414. All right. Our, our contacts. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for joining Heartlands Media, Father. And to all our viewing audience, peace.